The United States celebrated the 28th anniversary of Kazakhstan's independence. The celebrations took place in Washington and New York. In his congratulatory remark, President Donald Trump noted that the cooperation between the United States and Kazakhstan makes the world more secure and stable. Such attention to the country of the Great Steppe can be explained by its increased authority in the international arena. Kazakhstan has achieved impressive success over the years of its independence. The leadership of the U.S. State Department declares its intention to further strengthen the political, trade, economic and investment cooperation with the country. The thing that I remember most is that it was so easy to work on an international level with your diplomats, with your business people. That made it so easy for us to become very, very good partners. There were very important events. The OSCE a uh, national meeting that took place in Kazakhstan in 2010 and our Secretary of State Hillary Clinton came to that meeting to represent the United States. German political figures also congratulate Kazakhstan with the Independence Day. Federal Republic of Germany was one of the first to recognize the sovereignty of the government. Since then, the countries have maintained close partnerships and actively cooperate in a variety of areas, from education to renewable energy. The Federal Foreign Office in Germany considers Kazakhstan as a key trade and economic partner in the region. On behalf of the German government, I sincerely congratulate the Kazakh people with the main national holiday. This year has been very interesting and productive for our bilateral relations. President Tokayev paid a visit to the Federal Republic of Germany. Many documents were signed and agreements were reached, both with businessmen and with ministries. This visit signifies that the cooperation between Kazakhstan and Germany will strengthen and, of course, it will contribute to the strengthening of our economic ties. The path of Kazakhstan's development over the years of independence is a brilliant example of the strategic and stable development of domestic and foreign policy, economy and other areas. The president of the Association of Financial Industrial Groups of Russia has no doubt about it. These 28 years were the years of building, years of growth and years of strengthening the nationhood. I would like to say that here, observing from Russia, we are glad for the development that the wonderful Kazakh people have acquired over the years and the beautiful territory which has become a prosperous country. Within 25 years of cooperation, the Asian Development Bank has invested nearly 6 billion US dollars in Kazakhstan. The country used the investments as loans and technical assistance grants in sectors such as agriculture, irrigation, finance, transport, energy and others. Today, the cooperation of the Financial Institute with Kazakhstan continues. Priority is given to programs and projects on development of the infrastructure, promotion of innovations, implementation of the environmental standards, usage of the potential of renewable energy resources and others. Representatives of the Asian Development Bank said that over the years of independence, Kazakhstan is the largest economy in Central Asia. Uh, that is also in the nature of Kazakhstan. is always on the front line of many developments, uh, also in terms of reforms, uh, in terms of uh, progress being made in different areas. Kazakhstan has been the one uh, leading in the region. One example I could provide uh, of developments which has been happening over the past few years is the leadership that Kazakhstan is taking with sustainable development goals. Uh, this year uh, in November, uh, we organized uh, together with the government and UNDP the first uh, regional summit in support of uh, sustainable development goals, SDGs, and focused in particular on identifying um, financing uh, aspects and issues and needs uh, of uh, Kazakhstan uh, and, and regional countries.
The first 200 kilowatt hours has been generated by a solar power station in Kizilorda region. The power station, worth 23 billion tinge, took seven and a half months to be built. Foreign investments were used for the construction. 151,000 solar panels and 14 inverter stations were installed on 150 hectares of land. There are more than 20 workers operating the power station. The production capacity of the solar power plant is 50 megawatts per hour. According to experts, the the volume of electricity can cover the energy shortage in the regional center and in neighboring areas. The main production of electricity is forecasted for May, June and July. The planned output would be about 200,000 kilowatt hours per day. This is equivalent to about 30,000 households. We expect that by the end of next year, the output will exceed 3 million kilowatt hours. The total annual output will be about 73 million kilowatt hours. East Kazakhstan is a leader in terms of the implementation of digital technologies in the education sector. There are about 650 IT classrooms in the schools. A specialized lyceum and an innovation center for gifted children are opened as well. Students learn the 3D modeling skills, design robots, and learn the basics of computer programming. For example, Vladislav Volosnov received a grant of 600,000 tinge to create a robotic pedestrian safety system. I created this project in order to protect our streets and to increase the attention of all road traffic users. The students are also interested in medicine and culture. While some are working on a project to examine children's health, others are developing 3D tours to the homeland of Abai. There is a very strong interest from the students because here they can create everything by themselves. They want to become great specialists in this field. They come to this classroom at any free time and on weekends too. In the Jastar Time Innovation Center, students can undergo in-depth training and learn more about modern digital technologies. Gifted children are learning the 2D and 3D modeling, computer programming and video editing. The curriculum is absolutely different from school curriculum. We have developed the program together with a technical university and it focuses on solving practical problems. More than 300 billion tinge has been allocated for the development of education industry in East Kazakhstan region within three years. More than 500 gifted students have won awards at Kazakhstan and international IT competitions during this time. Uzbekistan is preparing to open the largest ski resort in Central Asia. The resort will be located at the Tian Shan Mountains. The modern slopes will be opened for skiing and snowboarding activities starting from next month. Meanwhile, the modern ski resort with a total area of 900 hectares will be fully equipped with the winter and summer infrastructure in the next five years. A network of ski slopes with a length of more than 20 kilometers is planned to be built. The resort will also be equipped with gondola lifts of conveyor and chair types as well as with a modern ticketing system. The unique project is a result of cooperation between local and world-class experts from Andorra, Spain, France, Germany, Denmark and Austria. Operational Director Thomas Thor Jensen was a mountain director of the Courchevel Ski Resort. He managed a huge infrastructure there and now he works with us and he runs this resort. He will be a very interesting person with a lot of experience. We expect that our resort will be a small Courchevel in Uzbekistan, in the heart of Central Asia. Experts said that the opening of the resort will attract many tourists who are engaged in winter sports and provide a platform for the development of tourism. The National Museum of Kazakhstan, which is the youngest and the largest museum in Central Asia, marks its fifth anniversary. As part of the anniversary celebration, an international scientific conference will be held on 18th and 19th December in the capital city. More than 100 delegates are expected to take part in the event. Discussions on global competitiveness and potential of Kazakhstan's main museum worldwide will be held. 
The Golden Man procession through the World's Museum's project has a particular importance in the promotion of Kazakh national history and culture. To date, the exhibition has been presented in 11 countries, and next year, it will tour to another five countries. The results of the recent archaeological excavations will also be presented during the conference. During the excavations at the burial sites, human remains were discovered, as well as valuable artifacts and gold items that have not been touched by anyone. The findings are in the process of research. Special laboratory examinations are being carried out. After all these works are completed, the scientific reconstruction of the historical object will be recreated, whereby it will be remodeled based on its appearance, its height and clothes. All of the discovered items will be presented at the exhibition at the National Museum of Kazakhstan. Twenty thousand new artifacts have replenished the funds of Uz Kamenogorsk Local Lore and History Museum. The ancient treasures of Saka have been added to the goal of the Great Steppe Collection. These are jewelry made of the highest grade precious metal. The unique items have been extracted from the Berel burial mounds and dated back to the 8th to 7th century BC. The Kazakhstan exhibition has been presented in the capital city of Russia, and currently the employees of the Local Lore and History Museum is planning to organize a large-scale exhibition in Nur Sultan city and the United Kingdom. This is admirable, especially pieces of the ancient jewelers who use the technique in the form of grains. These are thin gold threads. I would say that these are world-class artifacts. Salim. Salim. How are you? In the very center of Kiev, a Ukrainian resident, Alexander, is learning Kazakh. He has been going to Dostik Cultural Center once a week for two years. His lesson today is dedicated the 28th anniversary of the independence of Kazakhstan. Today we had a lesson dedicated to the Independence Day of Kazakhstan. I would like to congratulate Kazakh people with this holiday and to wish a long-lasting friendship between our countries. Cheers to the strong friendship and warm relationship. The study materials for the cultural center were provided by the staff of the Kazakh embassy in Ukraine. The next plans would be to acquaint the local audience with the Kazakh writers and to introduce lectures on the history and culture of Kazakhstan. Every Saturday, we meet up in this center. We try to provide any information about Kazakh language, about our traditions on a regular basis. We want everyone to be involved in the educational process, children and the younger generation. Despite the fact that we live far from our historical homeland here, we have a unique opportunity to speak our native language, respect our traditions and know our history. <laughs> The Kazakh diaspora in Ukraine has celebrated the Independence Day of Kazakhstan in the best national tradition by setting a rich dastarkhan and performing folk compositions. Songs of Abai, Keys of Kurmangazi and other Kazakh folk compositions have been performed in the open air in the Turkish region of Cappadocia. Around 40 Kazakh musicians from State Academic Philharmonic of Nur Sultan and Korkut Atta Ensemble of Ancient Folk Instruments arrived in Turkey to participate in the celebration of the Independence Day of Kazakhstan. The unique format of the concert in the open air nature in the favorite region of tourists was organized by the Kazakh Embassy in Turkey. The harmonious sound of Kazakh national instruments aroused the genuine interest among travelers. We weren't at first sure what that was, so we decided to wait and see. And uh, once they started playing, um, yeah, you can tell that they're professionals, and it sounds very, very nice. Uh, and, and it's just very, very nice to see something like that um, here, and you know, be surprised like this. I really enjoyed the concert. There is no doubt that your folk dances and music will captivate absolutely everyone. Happy Independence Day to you. Çok güzeller. Çok teşekkür ediyoruz.